Roxette Arisa from Cheeky Rocks, and this is Thursdays with Cheeky Rocks here on My Beauty Bunny. Today I have a cruelty free setting spray to show you guys. I will be taking a closer look at the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So many companies have been coming out with setting sprays lately because that is a problem that a lot of people were running into now that makeup is getting so much more high tech and you know supposed to sink into your skin really well to get the right color match and the right consistency for your skin. It's more customized, but it also then sinks into your skin more and that creates, you know, lines around your smile or maybe around your eyes, just random places around your face that you really don't want to have lines. I can't even remember a time when I haven't had that problem of my makeup settling into my skin about halfway through the day and sort of creating fine lines and just wearing off in general, especially on the cheek area and the T-zone. So, like I said, if you have that problem too, today's video is gonna be awesome for you. I've heard so many great things about the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay, so I definitely wanted to let you guys know what I thought about it, if it works, if it makes your makeup stay on longer, if it makes it look better. I'm gonna give you all the details. First off, I did want to show you guys how to use it, of course. So you wanna take the setting spray and hold it about eight to 10 inches away from your face, and you're gonna be making two motions, but spraying it four times. Does that make sense? So first off, you wanna do a T motion, and then an X motion. That's the way that Urban Decay suggests using the setting spray because it really does hit every angle of your face when you're moving it around while applying, especially in the T and X formations. It's just gonna hit a 360 overview of your face. That is exactly what we want because we want all of our makeup to stay on smooth, evenly, and stay on. Ever since playing around with this little guy, I felt that my makeup stays on a lot longer than if I don't use a setting spray at all. I would say it probably stays on between 12 to 14 hours. Over that, I, I'm not sure because I don't ever keep my makeup on close to 20 hours. <laughs> that would be crazy. But I can assure you that definitely for 12 hours, your makeup stays set. and. That is what we want in a setting spray, right? Even above that, this setting spray actually gives your skin almost a smooth, flawless finish once you spray it on. So not only does it allow your makeup to stay on a long time, but it actually makes it look a little bit more flawless. By flawless, what I mean is that it's going to decrease the amount of creasing that happens underneath the eyes where concealer tends to cake up. It's going to smooth out any fine lines you have around your smile line, which I have pretty badly, and then around your eyes as well. Those are the three main spots that I noticed a huge difference and the makeup stayed on so long. One other thing I wanted to mention is that this product is actually for all skin types. So whether you have dry skin, oily skin, or a combination to normal skin, this product is supposed to work for you. I can only say what worked for me and my skin, I guess. Um, I usually have normal to oily skin, so there's that. I do mostly get oily in my T-zone, which then causes my makeup to um, rub off a little bit more in that zone. But when I was using the All Nighter Setting Spray, I didn't notice that at all. My makeup still felt like it stayed in place even in the T-zone, which is my most problematic area. It's such a useful product because it's so easy to just spray your face two to four times and then your makeup's gonna last all day long and it's gonna look smoother and more flawless on your skin. So honestly, who doesn't want that? That's gonna be it from me this Thursday. Definitely stay tuned, we do new cruelty-free beauty reviews and hits or misses and tutorials every single Thursday. So I will see you guys next week.